Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. It is Monday night. Wellington and I are settling in. I've got my Mary Catmas mug with tea. Tonight is tea and it is winter wake up from Trader Joe's. So if you are a fan of spicy tea, like cinnamon and like a chai, but very cinnamony, oh, so good. So stinking good. There's a little licorice in it. Oh my gosh, so good. So we are gonna do some chit chatty. I'm sorry for the harsh lighting, but it's dark in my house. I already have my pajamas on. I'm ready to get settled in. I'm tired. And what about you, sir? Jeff has a doornail. He doesn't hear a word I say. But we're going to have a show and tell. i got lots of things to share. First and foremost, I've got my pattern out for day four, which I can't show you, but wait till you see this floss. It's called Grinch. It is perfect. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting. It's perfect. I'm obsessed. I love the Grinch. So this is day four. So that was yesterday. I'm trying to show you a day behind in case any of you are in the stitching um, advent as well. I don't want to be any spoilers, um, but here's where we're at so far. I'm not done with day four. I have some more stitching up here, and then I have another line to do with the same green color. I don't know if you're even able to see this. Maybe. There, how's that? Oh, this blue and green. I'm loving this. So I'll be back to this in just a little bit, right? Because that's how I roll. So first I have some friend mail, a couple friend mails. Oh, this is from Karen in Canada and she made this. And look at these cats. Aren't they everything? And it was for my birthday. And yes, London was everything I hoped it would be and more. I loved it and I'm keeping this card out. I'm making a little frame for it because it's just perfect. And I love it. Thank you. Um, this was a Thanksgiving card that I received from Melody and her cat, Emmy and dog Luna. I have a Luna dog and she sent me some travel stickers. How appropriate, that's London. And if I had to guess, I would say New York. That's also London. Maybe it's all London. Nope. Statue of Liberty. It's just international travel. Passport. These are the perfect stickers. Thank you. I love them. And I will put them to a fantastic use. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this card and that kitty. It's perfect. It's my Wellington. And this card is from Martha. Martha, thank you. And I did sneak peek. Oh my God, I love it. I cannot wait to go put this on my tree now that I've shown everybody. But it's a cat with Christmas lights. And then this little, I think this is supposed to be like an ornament. I mean, I know this is an ornament, but this is some kind of decoration. And this rotten cat is sitting on it because that's what they do. And it's from Spode. It's handcrafted in Thailand. I am obsessed, and this is going right on my tree, which is set up, so that's perfect. And she sent me some hand cream because, you know, I got hand problems, and some chapstick, which I've not tried this before. Oop, it's taped in. Hold on. Oh, it is supposed to be taped in. And this is Peppermint Dr. Bronner's. So I cannot wait to get this lotion on. This is um, Ultimate Care with boba oil for very dry skin. And that's me, I have very dry skin. So I can't wait to put these to use tonight. So thank you all so very much for your kind and thoughtful gifts. I, you guys blow me away all the time. And I'm gonna reuse your bubble wrap because I'm getting ready to mail a package myself. Okay, and then from Theoni at Thrifty Divas. I had emailed her a while back just to see if she ever comes across. You know, I'm obsessed with these bowls and she did, she found one and she sent it to me and I'm so excited. Um, if you're new to my channel, I use these. I put, um, well, here I can show you. 
This is a little one. So this is just a different maker. I did a cross stitch, I attached it, and then it holds my scissors. And then this is a um, pin cushion. It's so fun. And I can make them of all different sizes. So what you do is if you're a crafter and you just put this on your end table and your scissors, you can put pens and marker, whatever in there. And if you don't want to put a pink cushion, you can put little trinkets in the middle and it just keeps everything organized and they're perfect. And thank you, Theoni. If you haven't checked out her channel, it's Thrifty Divas um, here on eBay. Not on eBay, here on YouTube. I was looking at her box. She does eBay hauls and Dollar Tree hauls. She does all the things. I feel like the light's a little harsh. Let's go this way. Maybe that will help us because now we're doing the advent calendars. So we have the cat one. Wellington, we know, is not a fan, right? But Alex likes them. Wellington's really not a fan of much. But I did, when I'm opening this, got him some medicine. We're going to try it. I have to rub it in his ear. Okay. Okay, so no fun shapes today. We got the square ones. And also the fun fact is I will share these with my coworker. She has cats and they will love them and Luna will eat these. So, and the, I feel like they're pretty good for cats or dogs. Um, I don't think they have over, they're bad for them. So the boys got treats like they do. Okay, this is from Sarah, my niece, if you don't know, day five, and I need to make a paper snowflake today. So on all of my advents from her, I have a little activity that I need to do. And then there's a little treat inside or present or something, it's an advent. Oh, I love it. It's a little ornament. Did she make that or did she buy it? I don't know, but I'll have to ask her. But it's a little tiny ornament. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. It's gonna go to work and hang on my tree at work because I have a little tiny tree. I also have a little tiny tree in my bedroom. I love it. So that is from Sarah. Now, I did not drink my coffee today, just as a heads up, because I worked in the office, but let's have some tea. This tea is so good. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, mm. I'll have to show you the box. It's a blue box and it says wake, winter wake up call or something. Anywho, I didn't brew coffee. I went to Dunkin' Donuts. I was running behind schedule. So this is today's coffee. And then I will just hold on to it and brew it. Oh, it's pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice. And their coffee is so good. Um, Gallipolis. Somebody told me how to pronounce it. Gallipolis. I can never say it and I live here and I know where the town is, I pass it. It's like Gnuton Hooten, which I know is Janaden Hutton, but it's just hard, okay? Words are hard sometimes. Pumpkin spice, which I love. I will drink, I don't, I'm not a seasonal coffee drinker, I'm a coffee drinker. I don't care when the coffee happens. Now, here is, if you haven't opened yours yet today, don't look. So look away right now, because I'm gonna open day five of my advent calendar from Evertote. So their link should always be in the, just the box below, but if not, I'll fix it, or you can message me for it. But it's evertote.ca, I believe. Um, Leo, or now it's Roxy Floss Co., and Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery. They cooked up this wonderfulest of seasonal delight let me just tell you it, it gives and gives and gives every single day so we know for sure we're gonna get 25 i think 24 skeins of floss i think it's 24 maybe 25 questionable Ooh. we got tea today i love tea some tea today I'm excited. Oh, look at that color. That is doing it very good justice. It is called Polycanels. I don't know. Here, that's what it's called. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is what I'm loving about this advent calendar, too, by the way, is that it's not 
Christmas. It, you know, it's not like I can keep this up when I finish it. Yeah, there's some red and green, but um, that doesn't make it Christmassy. It is a Frisian sampler that Jacob designed. Carrie of Leo and Roxy, or soon to be Roxy Floss Co. Um, I'm unwinding this to put my floss on it in order because I'm behind on writing it all down. But Hannah, I don't know how to say this. I mean, I'm gonna have to tell her. Uh, we're gonna need, oh, oh, Caroline will have a video up tonight. So I'll watch Caroline tell me hopefully how to pronounce it. So I keep them all on this and in order. And then I need to write it down on the chart that I have, the booklet, because each color has a, uh, on the key, has a, oh, fancy. Oh yeah, this is exciting. So today's clue, but I haven't finished the other clue yet. I'll get back on track. I've just been busy. Okay. So that is it for all of my advent calendars, right? Right. Now we're going to get into the purchases. The only, oh, by the way, why I say 24 or 25, this is day 25 from my advent calendar, but I'm pretty, oh yeah, there is floss in here. Okay. So 25 colors of floss. There's floss in there. Now, if you haven't received your, and if you belong to the Roxy Floss Co. Um, floss of the month and you haven't opened yours yet, don't look because I'm getting ready to show you mine, okay? Okay, so we have all this secrets showing because I'm excited to share and I am obsessed with these colors. <gasps> Guys, this is Valentine's Day right here. Like I need to find a Valentine's Day stitch and all of these need to be a part of it. So this color is called Suit Yourself. It's a little more burgundy than it's showing up. This is called Nostalgia. And that's a pretty good indicator of like this plummy lavender color. This color is called Fairy Dust. Oh, I love it. This is Figure Skates. So it's kind of a creamy pink or like a champagne -y pink. It's not going to show up very well. And this is Snow Biz. Hannah has the best names for floss. So this was my December, yes, December floss of the month. So I believe I've been in this for a whole year now. Questionable. I think so. Maybe not. I don't remember. But I'm obsessed. And what I have been doing is when I, because I got some new patterns, instead of going with the colors of DMC that the patterns call for, I've been digging through and using my Roxy Floss Co. You can do that. I was afraid to do that, but you can do it. You just pick different colors. It's okay. And then I ordered some fabric. Now, I believe the pattern I'm doing at starting January 1st is from Maximum Cross Stitch. And I think I showed it to you, but if I didn't, I believe it's in here maybe. Oh, I need to do that. Yes, it's in here. I gotta do my Christmas cards. Um, starting January 1st, I am doing this pattern, which is There Is Always Room, and you can get this at Evertoe, and Ellen Reed of the Crash Test Dummies, Ellen Reed, um, is Maximum Cross Stitch, and she designs this. This is her own personal design of all of her favorite things. So I'm starting this on January 1st, and I ordered the fabric. And this fabric is a 36 count porcelain. Now, I didn't need a whole quarter of a yard, but I bought one because I thought I will stitch it and whatever's left I can use for other things. Um, eh, it's a cream, it's a creamy, creamy white. It's really pretty. And I think this will look fantastic. Now, I did not order the kit because I have a lot of floss and I just don't need kits right now. Uh, my Christmas cards, which need to get taken care of. This is kind of like my my little basket of goodies. Then I got some patterns. First, I'll show you what I dug out. Because this pattern I've owned, but I never stitched it. And it's Alex. <laughs> Except for Alex's eyes are a little more green. 
So I want to stitch this ornament for Alex. And I can always put a white belly and white paw tips and a call it Wellington and a little, you know, belly on there. And make one for Wellington. And Wellington does have yellow eyes. Alex has green eyes. Then, over the weekend, I participated in the Jingle Ball. If you're a cross-stitcher, you've probably heard about the Jingle Ball. It was put on by Stephanie of Lindy Stitches and 12 Designers. And I'll show you the ornaments I, picked, I purchased from that. So I got this book. Let me get it, pull it apart here. Let's see if there's a page that shows us it does. Perfect. This book came with all of these patterns. Look at that. That is a giraffe, my friends, and that is getting stitched. This is the girl fox, a snowman, a snowflake, which I might do in just blues. Look at that. So each designer that participated, oh, I like that, that participated in the Jingle Ball created an ornament for this book. So I don't know that they're released yet to the public, but the book came with 12 ornaments. So that for $20 really is a good deal. The designers who participated are, well, um, Noteworthy Needle, Janice Note, we have Kathy Haberman of Hands On Design, Lindy Stitches, or Stephanie Webb of Lindy Stitches. I have to go through each one. Jody Rice of Satsuma Street. Erica Michaels. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Linda Stoltz of Erica, Erica Michaels Needle Art Designs. This one is my favorite. Janine McGowan of Blue Flower. Oh my gosh. This is happening, guys. I gotta, I'm gotta. i pulling floss for that. Um, Teresa Kogan of Teresa Kogan. Tracy Horner of Ink Circles. Beth Seal of Summer House Stitchworks. Beth Twist of Heartstring Samplery. And... Ashley and Amanda of the Frosted Pumpkin. Now, the Frosted Pumpkin were the first designs that I ever saw as a knitter that made me go, huh. So, this is Clementine. This is also getting stitched. And she was fashioned after Bridgerton or this fancy ball stuff. But Clementine had a friend. Couture the Fox. So I had to buy this and this was an exclusive also. So look at them. This is happening as well, guys. If I have to just stick stitch ornaments until the cows come home, that might be what's going to happen. So I'm going to keep all these together because um, I bought them together. But this is Coulter the Fox and Clementine the other fox. And they're a uh, they're complimentary. So they'll be done in the same colors on the same fabrics. Um, companion pieces. Then, if you were, are interested, you need to go to the Blue Flower. I'm going to show this fast because this is a pattern, but it's a freebie. It's a hippopotamus in a snowman hat. I know. I know. I think I'm just stitching all the animals and clothing is basically what my life is turning into because the giraffe has on a Christmas sweater. The cat has on a snowman hat. The foxes are fully dressed. It's happening, guys. Game on. Game on. We're doing all of the animals and clothes. Um, and those of you keeping track, um, no. No, I have not been keeping up with my temperature chart. I'm still at the end of November and I have December. So this weekend, the chart is getting caught up once and for all and finished. So I have to work on this this weekend. That is my plan for the weekend, right? Because these are ooh, all the things that need to be done in my life. And that is everything that I have to share with you tonight. Oh, my lamp. That is my cross-stitch lamp. My house is a disaster. 
because I need to wrap the rest of my presents and I haven't done that yet. So that is kind of on the list of things that need to be done this weekend as well. Finish wrap. Hi, Alex. You wanna come up here? Come here, come here. You want to say hi to our friends? Come on, come on. He doesn't know. Do you want to come here or no? You going to come here? Hi. You come up here. He was in his scra house scratching. Come here, I will pick you up. <laughs> He's a big boy. This is a big one. This is my Alex. He lets me torture him a little bit. Wellington is my old man. I don't try not to torture him. I have to give him pills every day. That's tor torture enough. Hey, why don't you say hi to our friends? Hey. Excuse me. Our friends, they want to talk to you. They want to say hi to Alex. No. All right. All right, guys, have a good night, and I will talk tomorrow. Bye.